We're gonna make three different wood trees and they're all super easy. Before we get started, I wanna know what is your favorite holiday dessert? Let me know down in the comments. Mine is apple pie. This first one is very simple to make. You've probably seen it all over the place. Let me show you. This first one is really simple. You can use any width board that you like. I found these uh, one by three poplar boards at Home Depot. And the first piece that we need is going to be a triangle. So I just took my square and used the angled side to draw a line on one side. And then to create a point, just flipped it and drew the same angle on the other side. So that's our first triangle. And then for the second piece, we are going to start again with that first angled line and leave a two inch gap in between and then create that, that second line and so on. So we're gonna keep adding two inches more for the next piece. So you can do as many pieces as you want. I just did three. So this third piece is four inches wide uh, between those two lines and super easy. I just took my jigsaw to cut these and use the square as a guide. You can also just use another board clamped down to make your cuts. Once I had all my pieces, I did sand them just to get any rough edges and then I'm lining them up and making sure the distance on each side is the same and creating a line in between the pieces that will be glued together so that when I glue them, they'll be lined up evenly. And it's super simple. We're just gonna use some wood glue and a clamp, let it dry fully. And here is the result. You can stain these, paint these, whatever color you want. You can go crazy with your design on this, but this is a super simple wood tree that has a classic look and you can use for years to come. I did go ahead and add a cube of wood that I had on hand at the bottom just to raise it up a little and create a stand. And I did paint the back of this just so you know. And here is the result. Super cute. You can make these tall, you can make them skinny um, or wider depending on the boards you use. You may or may not have seen this next one, but it's one of my favorites. For this one, I'm using this cutoff piece that I had left over from my stove cover project. And I am making a line for the width that I want, which is eight inches. And that's gonna be the widest part of the tree. Then I am marking halfway at the height that I want. So that's four inches in between. And then I just took a straight board and marked out these triangles from the point down to each corner. So for this one, I used my jigsaw once again and I just clamped my long level to use as a straight edge. And just to show you how I accounted for the space between the blade and the base plate I clamped one side and then just placed the base plate right against the level to make sure that space would be there when I went to cut and then I clamped the level in place. And I went ahead and cut off the other side to create this large triangle. So for this one, I got a little decorative and I'm using a spray paint cap to draw out some semicircles that I cut out with my jigsaw. And it's kind of hard to get a nice clean circle of this size with the jigsaw. So I got these uh, drum sanding attachments for my drill. And here is how it's looking after it's all sanded. And that paint wash from my stove cover is still going strong. So we're gonna use that and just give it one coat to finish this off. 
and I'll show you what I'm going to put in those holes in just a sec. So I had these ornaments from Dollar Tree. These are the smaller ones that they have in a pack. And I just tied a knot close to where it hooks on. And then I'm just going to use a thumbtack placed right in between where I tied the knot and where it creates a loop to attach it to the wood. And this looks so cute. I've seen this all over Pinterest and I just wanted to create my own. So I did also attach this wood block to create a base for this one. And here is the result. This is super minimal and modern, definitely my style. Let me know what you think of this one in the comments. For the third and final one, we are making a set of three. This is the one you saw in the thumbnail, and they're also really simple. For this one, we're going to start the same way that we did the second one, by marking at the height that you want, and then a point at the center, and then drawing at an angle from that center point down to the corners to create a large triangle. Now, because I used a two by six, I went ahead and cut it with my circular saw because this is too thick to use a jigsaw. You could also make these with the one inch boards and go ahead and cut it with the jigsaw that way. But this is how it looks. This is the smallest one I made. I did make a set of three of these. And once I sanded them, here is how they looked. I decided to paint mine. You can stain it or do whatever you like. And I had this paint sample on hand. This is called Linen White. So I painted all three of these. And then I created stencils for each one using my Cricut. I just cut this in some removable vinyl and I'm gonna go ahead and just place the vinyl on. And a quick tip for stenciling is before you go ahead and put that regular color on, if you're stenciling over another paint color, go ahead and stencil with that first color and then layer with the color you want on top and that'll uh, prevent any bleeding underneath. And we always enjoy peeling off the stencil. So here is how these turned out. I love these. I can't decide which one is my favorite, this or the second one, but it's giving very Scandi vibes <laughs> and I love the minimal look. So let me know what you think of this one. Let me know in the comments which wood tree was your favorite. There is another video on the screen for more Christmas DIYs. And as always, thanks for watching. Wood trees are super popular. Why can't I say popular? Popular.